Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Get Play Soon. In this video, we are going to see how to left rotate an array by d places. Well, in our previous video, we have discussed the same problem but with one place. So if you haven't checked out that video, I highly recommend you to watch that video first and then come to this video because we have explained from the basic and the approaches very well in the previous video. So now I'm going to add the video in the description and also in the i button. Make sure you watch it before watching this video. Now coming back to our problem, left rotate array by d places. So we are supposed to shift every single element in the array towards left side by d places. Now the array elements are 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. We are also given the d value 2. So 5, 6 we should shift the first 5 and 6 towards left by d places. And towards the left, there is no elements, right? So that's why we take 5 and 6 and add them at the end of the array. After that, to get place at the end of the array, we have to shift the other elements, right? So we start shifting 7, 8, 9 to the left side by two places. As shown in the figure, as shown in the arrows, the elements are shifted. After that, the first two elements, 5 and 6, are added at the end of the array. And this is how left rotate array by d places happen. Now let's see how to achieve this in programming language. The main approach is to storing the first d elements in a temporary array. So in the given array 5 and 6, I took a temporary array and I've stored the 5 and 6 values in that array. After that, we will shift the last n minus d elements by d places. So n minus d means 7, 8, 9 elements by d places. So by 2. So as shown in the figure, as shown by the arrows, 7 is forwarded 2 places before. After that 8, after that 9, right. So once 7, 8, 9 are shifted, we will place the elements of the temporary array that is 5 and 6 in the original array. Now the rotated array is as follows 7, 8, 9, 5, 6. This is how we perform left rotate array by d place. Now let's see the code. So in the left rotate function, we are declaring a temporary array with the size d. So, in the previous example, we are saving 5 and 6 in a temporary array. For that, we are declaring a temporary array. The first for loop here runs from 0 to D and we are saving that 5, 6 elements in the temporary array. Now, moving on to a second for loop. The second for loop shifts the last n minus D elements by D places to the left. So, it runs from i is equals to D to i less than D. Inside the loop, the shifting will be like array of i minus D is equals to array of i. So, we have shifted 7, 8, 9 by two places towards the left. Now, moving on to our last and very important loop. The for loop starts from n minus D, which is the first position in the array where we need to place an element from the temporary array and continues until n. So, i is equals to n minus D to i less than n. For each position, i in this range, the value of temporary is i minus n minus d is assigned to array of i. So, array of i value will be i minus n minus d. So, basically the expression i minus n minus d calculates the index of corresponding element in the temporary array that needs to be placed in the ith position of array. So, basically we are understanding where exactly we should put where exactly we should merge the temporary array with our original array. And that happens in this for loop. This is a very important part of this whole program. Moving on to the main function. In the main function, we are just giving the input, the size of the array, the array, and we are just printing the array. As simple as that. Now, speaking about time complexity of our program. In this program, we are using three loops. The first loop runs till O of D, runs D times. So, in our previous example that we discussed, D is equals to 2. So, it runs for 2 times. Moving on to a second loop, in the second loop, we are running it from D to N. So, we can just mention it as O of N plus D. In the third loop, we are running it from O of N minus D to N. So, combining all three, it will be somewhere similar to approximately O of N plus D, where N is the size of array and D is the number of rotations. Now, speaking about the space complexity, here, we are updating everything in our original array, but we are creating a temporary array and with the help of temporary array, we are going to solve this problem, right? So we are creating extra space and extra space is of size D. D is equals to 2, 5, 6. We are creating array for 5, 6. So the space complexity for this program is O of D. 
we can reduce the space complexity with the following approach. Now, in this approach, we are just reversing the subarray with the first D elements. So, we have the array 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have D is equals to 2. The first step is reversing the, this subarray. So, 5, 6 becomes 6, 5. And in the second step, we are reversing the subarray with the last n minus d elements. So, 7, 8, 9 after reversing becomes 9, 8, 7. And the final step, we reverse the whole array. So, 6, 5, 9, 8, 7 after reversing becomes 7, 8, 9, 5, 6. And this is how we can achieve left rotate by d places. Now, let's check the code. The first function in this code is reverse array. If you haven't checked our previous videos, make sure to check the video on reversing an array. I'll also link that in the description, also in the i button. So, we are writing the same code for reversing the array. After that, we are reversing the array as shown in the previous. The first reversing is D and the second reversing is N minus D elements and the third reversing is all the elements. And that we are doing in the rotate array function. After that, we are just declaring a main function with the size and input. That's how we solve this problem. And for this code, what is the time complexity? First, the first reversing array, we are reversing only D elements. So that is O of D. And in the second step, we are reversing remaining elements. That is O of N minus D. And in the third step, we are reversing all the elements. So O of N. So in total, it will become O of 2 into N. After ignoring the constant, it will be O of N, where N is the size of array and D is the size of rotations. Now speaking about the space complexity, we are changing and doing everything in the given array, not creating any extra space. In our previous approach, we created a temporary array and did the process. Here we are not creating any space. So the space complexity is O of N being constant. So we have successfully reduced the space complexity by this approach. That's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.